Well, that's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. That high speed drop, and now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. You said something, Kent. Family applauding, but you can see by the little dot that he's in controlled descent. So two minutes. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Still free falling. Record is So you can understand that. He said his visor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes. There's the shoot. There's the shoot. So under under parachute now.
there's there's from the helicopter now under canopy floating safely floating safely down to earth there's Ava Baumgartner elated tears of joy from mission control as Felix now approaches the ground so so we're we're now at 6,000 feet So he has the highest jump. There he is. There's a closer, sh closer shot from the helicopter. Beautiful shot. Approaching Earth. Under parachute, you have quite a quite a bit of control by pulling those. By pulling the cords. He can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing. And the altitude out there, I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. That means to drop a smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see, he wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Art Thompson, the technical director of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down on the earth, safely back. <laughs>